Today's project is a side ball with a spiral mark and a handle. I use 400 gram stoneware clay for this. This bowl is used as a hot pot share bowl in Japan. Each person takes food from a hot pot in the middle of the table and put it into their bowl. You hold the bowl most of the time during the dinner, so it should be light and easy to hold. I'm bringing the clay up with both hands from the bottom. My left hand is working hard behind the scene so as not to spread the clay widely. I'll repeat this action until I feel comfortable about the clay's softness. It should be one density. I'm finishing the centering with steady hands from the top and the side. I'm checking the diameter with my hand. I need it to be 7 cm. I'm pressing the center lightly with my right thumb and my left index finger is supporting. I leave 1 cm of bottom thickness, then put my right thumb outwards. I'm compressing the bottom with a spatula, which is 4.7 cm. Then I slide it outwards to make the bottom 6 cm. My first stretch is very light. Then this is a real stretch. I press the bottom clay with my fingertips. This is the basic throwing of a cylinder. When this part works well, the rest of the process becomes much easier. I hold my hands still at the top to compress the edge. In the next stretch, I concentrate on the equal thickness of the wall and also on making the cylindrical shape. The final stretch. I use a spatula to compress the wall and also make it thinner. I will make the spiral mark later, so the wall need to be thinner, because I cannot trim it later. I'm going to fold the edge to make the round top. This ball needs to be durable, lightweight, and also have a soft rim, which is nice to drink from. So, a folded rim is ideal. I'll open the rim slowly from the top and slowly slide the spatula down. My spatula is tilted slightly towards me and my left fingers are supporting from the outside. It is better to compress from the outside as well after stretching the wall.
I repeat the same action. I'm using tombo to check the size. Tombo means a dragonfly in Japanese. Then use a shami laser to compress the edge. I put both hands together. My left middle finger starts from the center of the ball, then slowly moves up. My right index and middle fingers are sandwiching the left middle finger from the outside. I cut the bottom for the string cut guide. I have to find the right timing to do this before the ball is leather hard. I squeeze from the bottom in two directions to make a teardrop shape. But Note that my hands are not opposite each other. If the clay is too hard, of course it will crack. It should be before it's laser hard. At this stage, I'm checking the pots I have already shaped to make sure they are ready for trimming. I'm checking the bottom and the thickness. I make the guideline 5 mm lower than the internal bottom. Tap centering. I use three pieces of clay to hold the pot. I'm making a center hole for my finger rest. Then I place my left middle finger to secure my hand position. My hands are connected to become one tool. I trim the edge down to the marked point so I can trim the foot ring to that point. I use four fingers for the measurement of the foot ring. I trim down to the marked line, then make a nice round shoulder. I can't trim the main part of the pot, but I have already made it very thinly. So I only need to take care of the shoulder thickness. It should be the same thickness as the main part. Now I'm trimming the inside of the foot ring. I trim the ring one millimeter thicker than I want because I can adjust it later by checking how it looks. I trim the inside down to the same level as the outside.
I'm compressing the clay with my fingers. This will prevent chipping and an S clack. I'm going to make a handles from a slab. These gauges are 2 mm thick. I have a piece of canvas underneath. I roll the pin backward and forward until the clay becomes the thickness I wanted. When the clay becomes thin and large, I lift half of the clay carefully as it will easily break. Often the clay sticks to the canvas and doesn't stretch anymore, even though the thickness is not there yet. So I need to make sure to roll the pin until the clay doesn't stretch anymore immediately after I lift the sheet of clay. I'm measuring and cutting the handles. I want to make a simple folded handle like a paper clip. This newspaper is slightly damp and will fold the clay without breaking it. I scratch the parts to be joined so that the soft clay will be absorbed into the leather hard clay and support the joint. It's not glue, so you have to compress it to make a strong connection. If I'm careless at this point, I will see a nasty crack when they are bone dry. Dot marks gives extra pressure and also I like the look of them. It is like a stationary paper clip attached. I cover them with plastic sheet so the joint parts have time to unite well. <laughs> 